Good morning everyone. This is Ranger Rob from the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. And once again, we're going out to the front of the property because there's a box waiting for us. And uh, I like this box. Uh, this is our butcher box. And uh, the last shipment we got was awesome. And so uh, I see it up front here just waiting for us to come pick it up and that's uh, full of yummies so uh let me get the gate open right here <coughs> and uh we're not uh affiliates with butcher box box at all but uh i tried them out really liked them and this is my second order so well, let's grab it all righty guys there it is all cold and toasty and uh see what we got in here so uh after my first order you kind of learn what things you really like um this is some of their uh let's see grass grass fed uh ribeyes right there uh I also ordered some of their uh, beef strip um, loin steaks, which are pretty good. Uh, these are, I don't even remember what I got here, tops, a little top sirloins, which are the perfect size for me and Sherry. And uh, over that. The one thing I really, 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 really like in their stuff is their little grass-fed 100% uh, beef patties. Super easy, just grab them, cook. Uh, also got a couple of filet mignons right there. And uh, chicken breasts. So, uh, yeah, it's amazing. Everything's totally frozen still. And uh, so it's, uh, I need to get these out to uh, out to the freezer right away. So there they go. Yum, yum, yum. Well, we got all that meat put away in the freezer. Uh, we have three freezers, so we uh, have one just for beef, one for chicken and uh, fish, and then the third one is an upright where we got it set up to freeze trays for our uh, freeze dryer, and we store our pork and miscellaneous in that big one. So yeah, freezer for everything. And uh, like I said, we keep ourselves in pretty good shape. Our uh, chicken freezer and uh, fish is pretty much filled to the top. So that's a good feeling to know. As long as I got a generator, keep those uh, chest freezers frozen, uh, we'll have lots of food for a long period of time. And that's been kind of our goal for a while. All right, guys, everything's looking real good. We pulled all the... Uh, potato plants outside because they got kind of attacked by aphids so uh before they got spreading them all over to the different plants we decided to pull them outside let them finish their uh flowering and dying off outside for the summer and uh spreading them out a little bit and of course we treated them with uh soapy water and stuff so aphids uh seem to be our biggest um nemesis here on cricket uh here in central oregon <clears throat> uh the corn by the way is doing really good you can really see it coming up now and i'm about ready to turn on the uh <clears throat> water system for for those guys which is i just come down here <clears throat> ties into ties into a water system that i uh put over on the on the corn and also on the onions and stuff but 
they get watered at night. <clears throat> so I'm just doing the corn. So here we go. And that was just that easy. So let's go check on the greenhouse. Now we get the uh, uh, potatoes out of here. Greenhouse feels a lot bigger. <laughs> That's a good thing. So we have to turn up our fans, open up the sides, because uh, it's definitely toasty in here already. And uh, yeah, we're sitting at 96 degrees. So uh, I'm gonna open that up right now. All right, we got the sides of the greenhouse all opened up. Let's go look at our tomatoes and everything and see how well they're doing. So I checked around, uh, all the plants are doing really well. Um, our iceberg lettuce is getting to a point that it's getting too big and it's really drinking up the uh, nutrients. So we're slowly thinning them out because we can't eat that much uh, iceberg lettuce, we take out one a day and give them to the chickens or the compost bin. So nothing goes to waste. So I'm gonna take another huge <laughs> iceberg lettuce. A lot of them didn't ball up. So the ones I got are right in the front here. They're really tall. Those are the ones we're pulling and giving them to the chickens. Well, we got uh, all the other plants watered. I'm giving the towers a little extra water because we're getting close to 100 degrees every day. I want to make sure that they have lots of uh, fluids. Uh, and then the nutrients come on about noon and uh, for about seven minutes. So not only do they get extra water, they get their nutrients every day still. So yeah, uh, good day. Yeah, today, later today, uh, this video will come out uh, this morning, uh, if you notice, we uh, our second podcast came out. It was an interview with uh, Sprague River Homestead. Uh, we did that last year, and uh, it was a really good interview. And uh, I urge you to watch their channel because uh, if you uh, uh, really want to see some homesteading, uh, they are actually off grid. Uh, they have a hundred acres. Uh, they also uh, raise rabbits and rabbits is a great source of protein um, if you ever had to feed yourself I'd say raising rabbits and meat chickens are the two most practical ways to uh, raise meat on a little homestead without dealing with the bigger animals and so yeah you could learn a lot from them so uh, you get a chance today uh, all of our podcasts are hour long give yourself some uh, resting time uh, if you have a cell phone and like to listen to podcasts, don't forget you can uh, go to Podcast Addict, Spotify, uh, Spreaker. Um, there's all kinds of places where uh, you can uh, listen to our podcast. So uh, Spreaker is probably the best place to go first and then go from there. We're slowly getting qualified for other platforms too. So we'll be on Spotify and iHeartRadio and some other ones too. So anyway, yeah, a second... Uh, podcast is out there oh not, not to mention it's on good talk radio i have to laugh because we have a water system at night the sprays here the ground is wet so the dogs our dogs dig little holes and lay in them because they're nice and cool so uh hi guys hey bell you got a good hole good hole good job it's definitely nice to have these two on the homestead they uh, entertain me all day long uh, the butterfly chasing is probably over the top though oh cinder cinder today you good girl
All right, guys, to follow up a little bit, I want to talk about these potato plants. So they're chugging along really good in the greenhouse. And then last night, when Sherry got home, we're going, something just beat the heck out of our plants. And I mean, they uh, look really bad. And uh, out of nowhere, it look, it's like thousands of little aphids came along and just started chewing the heck out of these plants. And uh, we didn't even see it coming. So we had to treat them heavy with uh, anti kind of soapy water stuff. And so we thought also bringing them outside, which is all harsher condi conditions, um, that hopefully they can recover. And uh, they still got a, a lot of aphids on there. And so uh, they're gonna get treated again today, but uh, damn, they just came out of nowhere. So uh, I'm gonna spray all these again and uh, keep treating them until I get rid of these aphids. And uh, they'll do great outside. So we're at the stage now where we're waiting for them to flower and die off. And uh, uh, I think everything will survive just fine, but one of the plants really took a beating. And uh, so, uh, uh, well, hopefully we'll just kind of keep an eye on them and keep treating them. And uh, hopefully they'll recover. All right, guys, a little later in the day, that's a little thing I wanted to talk about a little bit. I was motivated by a video uh, from Prepper Nurse I'm talking about prepping. And uh, one of the things she tied into is uh, prepping with a conscience, you might say. Uh, I got my coffee, by the way, so I gotta be careful not to spill it. And uh, one of the things I talked about earlier, and she nailed it, was since we uh, really decided to start growing stuff. And of course, when you see all the stuff we got growing, you say, well, isn't that a bit much, Rob? And the answer is, yeah, it's called abundance. And uh, I found abundance happens when you, well, put, put yourself in a little bit of your own faith and uh, believe in uh, being uh, productive and not in fear. Absolutely no fear. Uh, I'll go straight blunt is not even of death because death is just a small little fraction of our lives. It's uh, qualifying for what's after. <laughs> being a good person. But uh, being a, a prepper or having abundance like this uh, also allows you to help the community. And uh, that's really what we're all about as humans is uh, a community. And of course, everybody's fighting against community and trying to divide us. And it's this, this here, all this is what brings communities together. And uh, when you have your mind set in the right place of being a good person um, and being a community uh, contributor, suddenly you're blessed with Abundance. <laughs> and I've got lots of abundance here. Not because of money. Uh, I gotta shut off my shut off my water here. I was noticing uh it's getting a little soggy over here. It's like where's all our water? So uh, corn should be happy. Anyway, the abundance came from calm thinking, common sense thinking, no fear and uh, helping people around you, sharing, all those primary things. Once I got my mind straight on that, uh, I was blessed with abundance, <laughs> a lot. I've got so much abundance. Now I gotta actually reach out and find people that wanna share in some of this abundance. But the one thing I wanted to turn on to is Okay, when you have abundance and maybe you got more than you need, are you wasting it? And the answer to that is no. Why? Is because in you know, if I had more animals, uh, I'd do things differently. But uh, because I only have chickens, 
and dogs, of course, you know, pets, and compost bins. Anything that's extra, first of all, if the chickens can eat it, we give it to them. And they devour it. They love all the, like, the le extra lettuce I give them today. Uh, when we're trimming our plants and stuff, we usually just throw that aside. Oh no, give that to the chickens. If not, make sure it goes into the compost bin to create high quality compost for your gardens. And, uh, uh, with, you know, without getting, you know, I try not to, I try to be that middle ground is, uh, for those of you that don't have faith, uh, I still wish you the best. And I, I, I just feel it sad that you think at the end of life it's just a blank slate. And, uh, and, and that's okay, I guess, but I'm hoping that you can see there's another world out there that uh, you might want to discover. Um, and we'll just leave it at that. Because I, I always find people that are preachy or uh, pushing faith too much actually do the opposite and turn people off. And that's not my intent. Uh, and it's taken years for me to develop faith to uh, balance it and then how to be productive with it and share it with others without turning them off. So I just do little subtle suggestions and hopefully it, it's, it comes down to you. Um, I can't force you to do anything, but I can make you curious. <laughs> I can tell you, uh, our lives have changed so much uh, in abundance and I'm not when I say abundance I'm not talking about big bucks and money uh, I am talking about wealth but it's wealth of uh, uh, lack of fear is gone uh, abundance in little things do a lot and uh, a little hard work and determination and hope and uh so uh, all of a sudden, it's like he lay, puts his hand over the top of your property and says, abundance you got and abundance you have. And uh, then the next thing is to make sure is be darn grateful. And uh, that I am very grateful. So guys, uh, I know, preachy, didn't mean to be, but uh, prepping is important. Preparing is important. Overabundance will come with a combination of a few things. Hard work, determination, no fear, and faith really help. And uh, uh, love and understanding for others. And uh, patience. I keep saying that word patience. Boy, we're being tested. I was watching some of these school board meetings <laughs> on critical race and all this stuff. It was like... Wow, I'm so glad I don't have kids in school. I really feel for you guys. Um, we work so hard to not be divided. We work so hard to, to judge people on their character. And it's all being destroyed. And they're doing it through our kids. And that's sad. And I may remove the hand over the nation. But it doesn't have to mean that it's... Does, is, you're... Uh, Blessings won't be over your homestead. Uh, so, yeah. Keep that in mind. So, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I want to uh, welcome all the new subscribers. We've been getting a lot of them. We appreciate it. Please uh, take the time to comment below and say hello. Tell us what you're doing or what things you like. You see anything that I've been showing you around here? Uh, anything that uh, sparks your curiosity that you want me to go more in depth with. Uh, because every day I'm just busy, busy, busy. And I'm walking by things that might fascinate you. I would like to talk more about the NFT system. How it works. How easy it was. And uh, hopefully i motivate you. I've kind of got an idea for the big bucket uh, uh, Dutch bucket system I want to put now they got some room in the uh, greenhouse Think about putting a steel table in the front there put a, a tank below it and two large Dutch bucket holders and try some cauliflower but <laughs> I Gotta get permission first <laughs> So we'll see so guys 
I'm going to wrap it up here. I want to uh, please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We'd appreciate it. And uh, have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.